hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to make changes for an existing field by inheriting that view so currently in the screen you are seeing oru version 12 community edition where we are continuing our development and i have already installed the om hospital module inside the database so if i go to the sales menu and then to the customers form view if i open the customers form view here we have got different field so let's take a case where you need to change some properties of an existing field so here i have got phone number that is phone field and you have got mobile email website etc so let's take a case where you need to make this mobile field as a required field inside the customer master so we already have shown you how to inherit an existing view and add a new field but we haven't shown you how to change or make changes for an existing field like its attributes so let's see how we can do that so in this video we will take the example of the mobile that is we are going to inherit this view of the customers and make the field mobile as a required field so first of all what we have to do is that we have to get the model name so before going into that so if i go to the pycharm and if i go to the custom folder and if i scroll down here you can see this is our customer view, that is om hospital and if i go to the views folder I will expand this views folder and here we have got sale order dot xml so if i scroll up this file so this is the code i have given the command that inherit inherit and add fields to sale order so we already have discussed this that is in here we have inherited the sale order form and we have added a new field into it so let's see how we can make changes for this mobile field so for doing that what i will do is that i'll just copy the record that we have created here so i'll just select it and control c and i will paste it here so we are going to change the mobile as a required field by using here so first of all for that we have to get the model name so to get the model name you have to just open the corresponding view and if you check the url you can see the model is there in the url so here you can see the model is res dot partner so from the either from the url or from the debugger button so currently i have already activated the debug mode in the database so once the debug mode is activated you will have the debugger button here and from here you can see edit view form so once you click on edit view form here you can see the model is res dot partner so i'll just copy the corresponding model name and i'll go to the pie charm and here in the model so here you can see field name equal to model and here you have to specify the model name so instead of sale order i will give the model name as res dot partner and in the name so the name for the record you can give the name as you like so right now i'll give the name as res dot partner dot inherit so the name is updated now i have to get the inherit id so right you have to specify to which view you are going to make changes so i have to get the external id of this view so here you can see the external id is base dot view partner form so i'll just control c that external id of the view and i will paste it here so in the reference i will paste the external id of the view that i am going to inherit so it's given so using that i will just update the record id so instead of sale order inherit i will give the name as view partner form inherit so we have updated the id the model is ir.ui view itself name is updated the model is specified that is restored partner inherit id is given field name arch type xml then the major changes is coming here inside this three line so what we are going to do is that we have to change the field mobile so we have to make this field as a required field so if i click on the edit button and if i place the mouse over this field you can see the technical name of the field is mobile so we will make this field as required so you can see right now without entering the value in the mobile field we can save the record that is the mobile field is not required right now so the technical name of the field is mobile and if i go to the pie charm so in the field name i will give specify the field name as mobile and earlier when we are going to add new field we i told we have we can either specify position after or before so as we are not going to add new fields we are going to change in existing field we have to give position equal to attributes so position equal to attributes so like that i will give so extra r is there i'll just remove it so field name is specified mobile position is given as attribute so and i will just remove the next line that i have added and here attribute name so i will add attribute name equal to i'm going to change the attribute that is required so i have to set the record as true so instead of true in the xml you can give one 
so what i have done is field name is jonas mobile so i'm going to change the properties of the field mobile so you have to give position attributes then attribute name required is set to one so that's all about what you have to do in the example and so there is nothing to do in the python side so what i will do is that i'll just go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll just upgrade our module so i'll go to the apps menu and from here you can see this is our module Odoo development tutorials and i'll just click on upgrade button so yet if you haven't got this module you can just go to the Odoo app store and search for Odoo development tutorials or you can go to our github repository and from there you can download this module so and also if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos so you can see the module has been upgraded successfully now i'll go to the sales and then to the customers form view so from the orders i'll go to the customers and if i open any of the existing record so let's open this azure interior and i'll click on edit button so once you click the edit button you can see the background color of the field has been changed that is it has been changed into the required so if you click on the save button you can see the following fields are involved that is mobile so it's saying that mobile is required field and you have to enter the value in the field in order to save it so if i enter the value that is i will enter one two three four five six seven eight and if i click on the save button you can see the record has been saved so this is how you can change the existing properties of a field so like that attribute name required and if i search for position attributes inside the existing code so i will click ctrl shift f so you can see its usage in code that is you can give attribute name invisible equal to one for making the field invisible so you can just try that so regarding like that read only if you need to make read only you can give read only equal to one and if i change something so let's try this read only and see how what happens so i'll copy this attribute so just uh, read only equal to one so i'll click on escape so let's make a change for an existing field so let's make this email field as read only so right now you can see you can edit and change the value so let's make this field email as a read only field so if i place the mouse over here you can see the technical name of the field is email so i'll go to the pycharm and i'll copy this one so we have to change this code Control c and i will place it here so instead of mobile i'm going to change the field properties of the email position attributes itself attribute name instead of record i will give read only equal to true read only so let me type so you can see field name is email position attributes and attribute name equal to read only one is given so to get this change i have to upgrade the module so i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll just upgrade our module once again so once this module is upgraded the field email will get read only so before upgrading the module when we have checked you can see the field was editable but as we have what we are giving in the code it should be read only now so let's see what happens so i'll go to the same form again that is sales and from the orders i'll go to the customers and if i open the azure interior itself and if i click on the edit button you can see the field email has been got editable so right now you can see there is no edit option has been read only so this is how you can see change make changes inside the existing form so what we have done is we have made this mobile field as the required field and this field has been made into read only so like that if you search inside the existing code for position attributes you can see lot of example like changing groups making giving attributes so let's see what happens so here you can see position attributes is given and inside the attributes it's they're giving conditions based on the attributes based on condition i will just explain one example also using this one so i will just explain so let's take a case so let's um, we can make a case where we need to um, what we'll do what is an example that we can work on website so with the, let's make website as a required field if phone number is or something like that if we need to make if there is a boolean field yeah we have got customer so let's make a case if vendor is ticked we need to make the website as a required field that is if is a vendor is ticked then we need to make the website field as required so in such cases you can use these that is attribute invisible this one so let's so what i'm going to explain is we need to set a condition like if is this a vendor or customer so let's go with a customer so if the contact is a customer the website must be required field so let's see how we can do that so what i will do is that so we are going to change the properties of the website field so once i place the mouse over the corresponding field you can see the technical name of the field is website so i'll go to the pycharm and i'll just close this escape okay 
okay let's go to say order to xml so we are going to change the properties of the field website so i'll copy and paste it here so in, in, the, in the name i'll give website and in the attributes the attribute itself and in the attribute name here i will give attrs so i'll just make a search inside the code for attribute name equal to attrs so here you can see i'll just copy the sample here Control c and I escape and i'll paste it here that is attribute name equal to attrs so i'll just paste it here so attribute name is given as attrs then inside here you can give the condition so based on some condition you have to make the field as required so we are going to make the website field as the required so i'll give here it as a required and here you can give the condition so the condition is if it is a customer so if i place the mouse over here you can see the technical name of the is a customer field is customer so i'll give customer here that is if customer equal to true this field must be required customer equal to true so like that i have given the condition so what we have done is we have made the website field is required if is a customer so let's upgrade the module and see what happens so right now you can see if it is customer the website field is not a required field right now you can see website is empty but customer is also ticked so let's see what happens after upgrading the module so i'll go to the apps menu and i will upgrade the module from the apps menu so you can just wait until the final upgrading of the module so it i am telling once more if you haven't subscribed the channel please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you can get all the videos that will be released in the channel in the coming days so if i go to the hospital sorry if i go to sales and then to the customers form so if i go to the customers form and if i open assure interior and if i check here you can see the website has been also got required you can see the background color so if i click on save button it will ask us to enter the website so what happens if i untick the customer so if i untick the customer you can see the background blue color has been gone so if i tick this you can see the background blue color has been come so that is it is getting required when we are ticking this field so what the condition we are giving is if it is a customer the website is mandatory so if i tick here i cannot save the record without specifying the website so this is how you can change the properties of an existing field so like that you can give groups etc so you can just search position attributes inside the existing code and you can get a lot of samples so you can just go through it so if i try to explain everything it will take a long time so i'm not going into that so i can hope you will just go through it and see what all features are available so that's all about this video if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified regarding all the upcoming videos thank you